Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kilten Rats. Welcome back to Sunless Sea. Welcome back to the Untersee. The Untersee, as I'm always tempted to pronounce it. That's just how I parse words <laughs> in my native language. Um, right, the manual seems to be locked for me at the moment, so I can't really check it out. But I've made the decision to just give it a peek once we've got our um, our business in London out of the way now that we're back from our first run. I'll just edit it out quickly and then we'll be right back. But for now we will collect our messages from the Harbour Master because, uh, you know, all the clutter and song of the Dockside, it soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? Uh, let's see. Uh, you'll find a story when you next make port. You'll receive this from time to time as you travel the sea. You now have one of this, another day, a free evening, precious time away from captain's duties. How will you spend it? Ah, okay. Time the healer. Ah. Time the healer, that's, all, that's one of the messages you always get uh, from Fallen London, uh, I think when you get XP or something. Someone wants to sign on. Okay, very nice. Right, so I can now look at advice for captains. Which means I will do that quickly and then I'll be right back. And I'm back and now I have a somewhat <laughs> better understanding. Now we have our options here. We can... Mm, go to our lodgings. I think we'll do that. Okay, here you may catch up with your correspondence, rest or retire altogether from seafaring life. Well, that's a little early. Rest in a room above the blind helmsman. If you don't have the echoes to go out roistering, best stay at home. Mm. Okay. We have... Not a lot of terror, actually. I don't think we need to worry about, you know, uh, reducing it quite yet. Visit the university. Uh, we can mm, provide a secret. I'd rather use a secret to level up, really. Hire more crew. We have full crew. Put your ship in the dry dock. We're a little light on cash. We actually need to... I guess we need to dump off our, our port reports and whatnot. Mm. Who awaits your attention? I'm curious. If we have a new record. Engage an officer, the Carnelian Exile. Sir, I know the way. Let me show you. The Exile is the first officer who increases mirrors and pages. Mirrors were already really good at pages mm, these are our stats from what I can tell so yeah this is the sort of strength related feats and well increases the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets oh that is quite nice so he gives us a bit of an experience boost I suppose hmm uh-huh well oh we have we have choices yikes uh why doesn't it oh we were too poor okay well that can be fixed but we can get a mechanic who increases veils and fuel efficiency that's also really nice hmm visit here the Admiralties, Picket Fleets and Intelligence Networks are long gone, etc, etc. Visit and investigate ports to regain port reports. We've done that. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. And what do we get? We submitted it and we get some fuel. We get Admiralty's favor and we gain five echoes. Wow, that is not a lot. 
Um, what about these guys? I guess maybe the farther away it is, the more echoes we get, I hope. Yeah, we get 10. Getting there. And some more fuel, that's also quite fine. Uh-huh. We have nothing more. Hmm. A little gift, a very fine evening to you, Captain. This doesn't show... Hmm. This doesn't seem shady at all. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My, what you might call mentor is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of he's so fond of sea captains. Mm -hmm. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. Uh, accept the dispensation. Do make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back later. Inquire further. Who is this patron? Refuse. Too good to be true. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? An airy wave. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river. What is much patronized by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar. A public house. And there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly. And I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Right, he's going to put the squeeze on if we take this, so no thanks. I will not deny that I'm a little saddened. I think that my patron also will share my sadness, but I understand that you knows your business and that a sea captain is a free spirit. And I will explain carefully to my patron that you mean no insult by the refusing of his kind gift. Sail safe. Yeah. Go die in a fire or optionally drown yourself. Um, now, how do we make some more money? Uh, make some, put your ship in the dry dock. We have four rations. Um, let's go to our shop and see what this does actually here's how we get some more money and now we buy fuel fuel uh, fuel huh we started up with 10 and we didn't get all that far did we Hmm. Well, this seems a bit rough. <laughs> uh, I did see that the light also um, consumes fuel, but of course then we're increasing our terror if we leave it switched off. Hmm. 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 What do we have that we can actually sell? This needs to go to station. Three, which we of course don't know where it is. Uh, well, let's see how do we do this. We will buy two more of those. We'll forget about the officer for now. We'll buy some more of those. We're not going to repair the ship, but I do want to know what it might cost. Mm. Uh, what? If this, if we click this, does it mean we lose the favor right away? I'd rather not risk it. Mm. How much would it be? For repairs and sometimes other purposes. Visit the Admiralty fuel stores. If you've done good work, the Admiralty will issue you with a book of little chitties. This will exchange one point of Admiralty favor for two to three fuel. A tough challenge. Okay, we can't do this yet and we need four favor. But good to know that it exists. Uh, reputation for cutting corners. 75. 100. Uh, or again favor. So we need 
more of everything. <laughs> Employ Rattus Faber engineers. The rats have fallen in London are remarkably skilled engineers. The rats? What? Payment is in kind, not currency. This will repair some of your hull. How much? Difficult to say. A matter of luck. Pretty good odds. Unlocked with no more than zero wretched mog? Isn't that a cat? A moggy? I... My, uh... Londonese fails me. Mm. Oh, but it costs supplies. Well, balls to that then. I think we'll have to make do with what we have. And just hope for the best, but this seems to be tough making money in this game. I guess initially the the idea was probably to, to get your second journey going if you take that offer from that uh, shady gentleman, but for one I don't feel our, our good Rutherford here would stand for that, and for another I have a feeling that this will eventually become a problem. Now I don't think you can actually move this meter to uh, sort of go on, on like stretched rations, but I'm actually more worried about the food. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter much. We've spent enough time in the docks, so let us have one more quick look what we can do here, which is precisely nothing, and then set out to sea again. Uh, this is... Let's try this. Engine temperature is okay. All right. Where could we go? We have run up there. Um, I'm aware that we also could get a mission to run someone up there, but... Um, it's said to sort of stay close to the general London area. So let's let's try and do that. And just see if we can get some more uh, port reports here and make this worth our while. All right, there's also, we can dock on that ship apparently, I guess. Let's see what it is. We'll dock here, light ship. It's clear bright beam warms the way. Speak to the crew, they long for news of home. Unlocked with one recent news, you have one. Okay. Tea beneath the light, in the bleaching glare of the lens, among the smells of oil and metal, you sip tea and chat. The sea's terror recedes. You now have one sea story, you've lost five terror. Oh, that's good. And we paid for it with recent news, but I like the loss of terror. Purchase fuel, they have little spare, but it's twice the usual price. I'm not sure why we would do that, but maybe if we just barely ever make it back to fallen London and... It's sort of a question of any port in a storm, I guess. Now... Where we headed? This looks somewhat intimidating. Uh, what's the bat key? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. We have acquired crabs. Ah. I really need to... Oh man! There's a bigger one as well. Which is why I'm taking damage here. Can we actually dodge this somehow? Ah! No, we can't. We're not mobile enough. Well... Uh, and ramming also doesn't seem very efficient. Well, I'm still getting used to this, so bear with me. Wow, damn it. Uh, stay behind you and... Oh, you seem to not be able to hit it. Hmm. Our gunners are drunk, I think. Maybe if we... Okay, all clear. 
Right, I really need to be better at this because this is not good. Oh wow. Um, with a forlorn and wailing cry, the Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded, a bluish blood gouts from its wounds. Its golden glow begins to dim. Butcher it for supplies? Or dissect it for knowledge? Well... Pale and salty meat, the crew will feast. That glowing flesh is unstable. It crisps and withers as the glow fades, so eat while it's fresh. You've lost 35 hunger. Oh, okay. So we can eat it right away. And there is another one. Uh, what about the bigger one? This is possibly how we die, but I'm curious. To battle. Uh, okay. Oh wow, holy crap. This was a mistake and a half. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, this is likely the end of it. Unless we can somehow run away. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It seems to have this alert mode when it charges. But it doesn't quite reach us. Now it does. Ah, crap. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna use this opportunity to... to practice combat a little, just because... Um, I feel like... There is no real point in surviving this encounter, <laughs> considering we will not be able to afford any repairs or anything. Ah, okay. That's not good. We are keeping ahead of it, but... Okay, now it's charging again, I assume. Oh, that was close. Come on. Fire. <clears throat> yeah, we are not mobile enough to do this, I think. Come on, charge. Nope. Ah, that's not gonna work. And there's another one. Ah well. That might just be the end of it. Okay, I'm... I'm not gonna give it up. I'm gonna... See if we can... Uh, escape and... Maybe survive somehow. But... That was a lesson learned. What's happening? Um, something happened, but I'm not sure what. Okay, another crab is attacking us, I think. Okay, what does the map say? Mutton Island. I want to see... Is there anything down here while we're in the area? Maybe we can pick up a port report from shores far away and get our repairs done this way. Wow, what's this? This is a huge structure. Um... Well... 
This is gigantic. Okay. Uh, you stay away. But yeah, the combat is something I really definitely need to get used to. It's it's early in, in my uh, playing this game and I will get better at it, but you know, right now it's just a challenge. Hello? I just pressed dock. Did the game crash? Oh no. Okay. Kumean Canal Staging Area. Oh, canal. Here the dark waters run down from the surface from a brighter sea. The canal ascends through locks and gates and shadow turns to the sunlight of the surface. Travel to the surface. What the hell? The sun is dangerous to neat dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptations. Ensure you're well stocked with supplies and fuel or you may never return. Wow, this isn't even the only map we can... Uh, Wow, okay. Listen for surface gossip. The ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to a warmer place. Uh, you've lost a crew member. What? A sorry end. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other players scrabble from the coins that spill from her pockets, but you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook. Curious markings, dates, times, code names, spies work. You now have one moves in the great game. Move in the great game. The nations of Europe and beyond compete for influence. Their plots reach even to the neath. The admiral and the diplomat, among others, will be interested to hear this. Okay. You'll find a story when you next make port. You'll receive this from time to time as you travel the sea. Uh huh. Gather information for a port report. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe in all the Undersea, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. You now have one perfunctory port report. Hmm. The Admiralty has a very modest interest. Well, that's not gonna give us a whole hell of a lot. We can't travel to the surface, so. What can we actually do? Can you... Uh, okay, he can improve our pages, but he can only improve our pages. Is this something we want? Mm. Actually... I'll just do it to see how it works. He likes to sit very close when he speaks, the plausible surgeon. He speaks familiarly of diseases and hauntings, as if he knew their first names, but chose not to disclose them out of courtesy and discretion. This makes some of his advice confusing, but you do learn intriguing details. So for one secret we gain one point in this. That's... It seems a really steep leveling curve and like a really tough, uh, really tough game. Wow. And this is expensive as hell. Um, okay, how far down are we? The Albertine Gates, okay. As in Albert, or Albert, husband of Queen Victoria, I suppose. Of uh, Saxon Coburg, or Sax Coburg, I guess, however you wanna say it. Hmm. I guess we'll make a loop around here and then see if we can make it back. Like, there would be just... I'd just be happy if we can uh, survive this. Jilly Fleur. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want anything to, to, to do with you. Go away, go away. Leave me alone. Ah. Damn it. Run away. Okay, there is something there. What is it? Pig Mode Isle. Hmm. Something awaits you in port. Mm -hmm. We have four fuel left. That's not good. Um. Crab cake. Okay, let's make a run back. Where? Where? 
Where did the other two go? Did I miss something? Uh, we seem to have lost two sailors. Okay. <laughs> um, let's sacrifice some terror rating for fuel. What's all this? Yes, we are aware. Now, okay, we should be able to make it back at least, I hope. I like these little flavor events here. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll make uh, a stop at Mutton Island, I suppose. Quaker's Haven. Where's the port? I don't see a port. Is it because I have my lights off or why is that? Hmm. It looks like it should be a port down there though. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So you can actually have this slip by you in bad weather. Fires on the hillside. Once the simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in. Smoke spirals from cottage chimneys. A lonely hill rises behind town. Drinks at the cock and magpie. No, thank you. Explore the shore. Wander a little way along the shore from the dock. Yes. Fisher folk, sailors, a shady couple of likely pirates, and is that a drowny down by the water's edge? What's a drowny? They sit round a fire at the sea's edge, passing around a bottle of something viscously black. They're waging on riddles. Will you join them? The riddles are for children. Bad an echo on one of the simpler riddles. A tough. It's pages. Hmm. Well. Why not? One of the fishermen is bursting to try it. The fisherman chuckles and pounds the ground with his fist. City folk, he crows. City folk, pay up. You've gained five fragment. Fail the challenge. That's all for now. Okay. It doesn't really matter that much. Chat to the fishermen. They sail the sea around the island. They mend their nets by the harbor. They see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouth. Mm, one echo for a port report. That probably is a good deal. Pirates playing the waves. Smugglers at their work. Carnage ships putting into resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Mm hmm. So. I guess we have another port report there. And now we really need to see that we can make our way back. What's up there? Rowena's Rocks. Uh huh. And there's a. Oh, that's probably Hunter's Isle, is it? Yeah. Fairly certain that is. No, 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 no. Stay away from me, crab. I have had enough of, of you and your like for the past uh, to, to last me a while at least. No, 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 no. So... Mm. God damn it. Okay, we're at that ship now. That's fine. I guess if we can scrape together enough... Uh, for fuel and supplies, we might set out to transport the... Are we actually near London now? We're not, are we? Or... Ah, okay, we are. 
Alright, good. Uh, yeah. If we can get enough together to make another trip, we could get that tomb cultist uh, up north, maybe? Let's talk. Okay. What happens? Her enduring majesty's custom service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the masters of the bazaar. Today they have selected you for inspection. Don't cheat them. Let them do their worst. You have nothing to hide. This will reduce your suspicion if your suspicion is five or more. Uh, okay. Talk your way out. No, we don't have anything to hide, so... Vexed and frustrated, they roam your deck like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At least, at last, they leave. Suspicion hasn't changed because it's lower than five. Okay. Uh, collect the messages from the harbor master. We'll do that. Let's see. A merchant venturer, an urchin tags your sleeve. Okay. Um, something has changed. Someone wants to sign on. Okay, let's go back to our lodgings. Read the morning papers. The Canada is threatening war, they always are. Okay, right, we have... You've gained one supplies. Oh, because of Miss Plenty's provisioners. And we've lost terror, but we're fairly high on it. But we have recent news. I feel this is going well. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but uh, uh, it's, you know, it's how you learn the game, and that was sort of the idea from the outset, that the first character would probably not uh, survive with his sanity intact or of hail body. Mm, we'll go to the Admiralty. We'll turn in Quaker's Haven. We get one fuel, one favor, and we've lost the port report, and we've gained five echoes. That is really not good. Ah, uh, the Kumanan Canal. Well, if you've been there, I suppose we may as well hear about it. The fee is nominal, though. Well, the fee is nominal, but it's five echoes. <laughs> That's the same you pays. Ask to speak to the Dark Spectral Admiral. Do you have an appointment? Unlocked with favors. Mm, no appointment, but hmm, apparently I'm to show you in any way. Very well. Don't we have something... Speak of moves in the great game. Yes, indeed. He has you repeated all twice. He doesn't take notes. It's a little beyond me, he tells you, but I have a friend in the palace who will be interested. Very interested. Thank you. Your fee. 30. Nice. Nice. We may turn this around yet. <laughs> um, so we've got two fuel and two food. Seven crew. Seven crew isn't great, but oh well, we'll have to live with it. Uh, we don't have any port reports, I think, so ask what he needs. Information. Visit a port and we'll be interested in the port reports. Visit places of particular interest and we'll be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well, don't worry. I understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. His lip curls. What's left of it? Mm-hmm. Ask if the Admiral can provide a little fuel to cover your costs. This will take you to the dry dock, where one point of favor will get you two to three fuel. Uh, well, let's try it. Success, eventually. You've lost one Admiralty's favor, new total three, okay. You gain two fuel, okay. Okay. And we can't do it again right now, but... You know. And we can actually also do this. Uh, 25 echo to repair. That is tempting. But we'll have to live with it, I'm afraid. I don't see how we can make another journey if we cannot really get provisions. Now, we have more options here. 
Um, the urchin tugs your sleeve. Governor wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. Speak to the merchant venturer. I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. An opportunity for profit. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates. And he won't ask how you came by these things. The venturer has a request. Speak to him further or check the journal. An occurrence. Your objective. The venturer's venture. Quality is now one. A dream and a scheme. Okay. 500 echoes for seven peculiar fish corpses. I imagine you'll need to uh, hunt things, fierce things, 500 echoes for seven pieces. Hunting trophy or strange catch. Okay, so that's a thing. Mm. A visit to Clather Monster 2 Parlor. You're a real sailor now, after all. You could go to one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks. But the prices at Clathermonds are reasonable and his daughters are real artists. But what sign will you choose? This probably costs money, but only one. While we can't really spare anything at the moment, I don't think this is too bad. This will increase mirrors by two and cure up to 25 points of terror. Okay, this is pretty good. This will increase veils by two. Mirrors, already pretty good on. So we'll go with this. The gold needle pricks, Lily Clathermont hums. The design is complete. A ship's wheel, but with a curious elaboration to the design, like an optical illusion. We are not the messengers, but the message, Lily intones. You frown. She dimples. Oh, all right. That's just something Mr. C says to sound impressive. I don't know what it means, but I like the design. Lost one echo. You lost one C story. You've gained two veils. You've lost 25 terror. Fantastic! Well, what else can we do? Uh, hire a more crew, put your ship to the right, offer passage to the tomb colonist. Okay. A new recruit? No. An emigrant will pay to be taken north to Vanderbite. It's oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They sleep there until the journey is done. Wow, this is... Uh, this The writing in this game is so fantastic. Take the colonists to Venderbite. You now have one tomb colonist. Hmm. This will reduce terror. This is too expensive. What can this do? Has an exhaustible appetite for secrets. Unlocked with favors. Okay, let's go there. She's the greatest city of the Unterzean, don't you forget it. Visit the university. Oh yes, the university's maritime liaison whispers bre breathily. Oh yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She, he explains, teeth glinting. You've gained one pages? Oh, okay. You are now favored antiquarian, you've lost one secret. So we converted a secret into one pages. That's actually not really a loss. Um, the alarming scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Possibly her, is it her, appointment at as university maritime liaison was precautionary to keep his, is it his, razor sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Ah yes, the scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? A memory of distant shores. We have one. And we gain 10 echoes. Yeah. A wealth of emotion. As the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depth of those shining, or is it blazing eyes? They overflow, splashing onto the desk blotter. Stop. He, she sobs at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macabre memories. I wish each individual tone recalled the macabre of memories. <laughs> So we're, we're recording this into a parrot. <laughs> oh God, this is, <laughs> this is amazing. Um, right. We've done all we can here. We've 50. We've got a mission. I'm not giving up on this yet. <laughs> we'll buy. 
Uh, we'll buy two supplies and one fuel and we'll hope we'll make it to vendor buy and back. Maybe that'll work. Because every time we get back here something else seems to happen. So, you know, the game is somewhat unpredictable and I love that. So we'll see what Mr. Rutherford has in store for himself. I thank you very much for bearing with me thus far. This has been an interesting journey. I very much hope to catch you next time. Until then, I wish you well and bye for now.